So we're working through our mobility circuit here, four rounds, couch stretch, 45 seconds each side. Here's Scott at the top of the movement, he's holding this for 45 seconds, he's got his arm up, knee pushed it, uh, as close to the bench as he can get it, straight up. Then we're doing toe up, toe down today. You're going to alternate feet on the toe up part. So you're going to do Betsy, for example, is on her fourth round. Right, Betsy, fourth round? Is fourth round for you? Okay. Is this fourth round for you? This is my second round. Second? Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, so she just did a right. So last round she did her left. This round she did a right on the toe up part. Now on the toe down, since she's got, uh, since she can do both feet at once, she's going to lean back like that. I want you to get as much stretch out of that as you can. You don't have to put your feet behind you. You can just put your feet under your butt as well. And then we've got pause dislocate. You see Graham working through it here. He's got his elbow straight. He's pausing at the crux of the stretch and then coming through. He comes back over. You, Graham, you don't have to pause on that way. Just pause on the way back down. Yep. So it's going to be a, he comes over. Five seconds right there. Now, Graham's a couple rounds into this, so uh, he knows exactly where he wants his hands to be. If you are, if you are, if it's, if it's your first round working through this, you may not know exactly where you want your hands. You may have to work them in, um, dislocate to dislocate. So you're going to do ten of those, ten pause, uh, five second pause dislocates. Graham here's again working the toe up, toe down stretch. His toe up right now. He's working his left side. Then he's going to go right into the toe, uh, toe down part where he's going to work both legs. And we've got Jefferson curl right here. We're holding 30 seconds as the bottom position. Just make sure as you curl down, you're curling down one vertebrae at a time. Kate here's got a good position. Her knees are slightly bent. She's uh, rounded through the back. Her chin is tucked. And she's actually able to uh, get that bar uh, on, the, on, the other side, on the bottom side of the box. That's good. Now she unwinds slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Lastly, brings her chin up straight. Okay, that's exactly how it's done right there.